Hello guys, good evening. Today is September 7th. Another episode of daily trade recaps and daily teachings. <coughs> so guys, today this morning, the, the setup, it was a gap down day. As always, we analyze what the day is. You know, you wake up, you see what's the market showing you. So market was showing me a gap down day, decent small gap and um, the setup was again either it was going to be a gap down short or it was going to be a gap down long on the market and what was the key behind it the key on the market was is market making a fresh low at the open is market breaking uh, the pre-market lows or not right so you have to define your setups but it did not it did not it tried to break it that's when I took the QQ calls, but then it reclaimed it. Sorry, I took the QQ puts. It reclaimed it, and then I took a loss on those QQ puts, right? Um, so that's what, okay, let's see. So I was showing you, let me see quickly. Yeah, so I was QQ short, right? So the point is you try to understand what market is giving you. And then when it did not work, I knew right away that that setup is not going to work there are going, going to be two scenarios either it's going to be gap down long or a choppy day and for the most part it was a choppy day because it was not a short because it was holding a pre-market lows and there was some short if you scalped this push this um, push into 10 a.m but again that was a scalp it came back held the pre-market lows and qqq never broke pre-market lows so that was our setup today. So it was not like a high paying setup on the markets, but what was high paying was the trades like Tesla long, which I will show you in a minute. It's right here. Tesla held the pre-market lows just like the market. So the setup on the Tesla that we traded today was the long on Tesla based upon the support of the market. So if I op open my book of my setups, what setup do I see? Gap down long versus the pre-market lows. So that was the Tesla setup that worked today. So just pointed out to see every day you wake up, market has a different personality and you try to identify the personality for that day, right? It was not a day like yesterday where we killed the short side, we made good money, right? Because there was no, it was either you played the chop in a wrong way, try to short it, and then you lost, you know, and if you try to long it, and if you did not respect the stops here, then you cut early or you cut right here and the market bounce. So you need to identify what the setup is. So this was the day today, just to give you an idea, like what was the day like today. So, so setups that work today was gap down long on Tesla. I explained it in detail. Um, here before I go to my other trades you see support 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 then I said long with the market PM lows so I said long with the market PM PM lows and then there was a big level here came down then I took some Tesla out too like I was out of the Tesla then again I saw it holding then I was back in Tesla personally but otherwise, if you held it open and if you respected these levels, you, it was a nice trade. And then it was all the way guidance on Tesla all day. Um, my target was um, this uh, first 512 EMA broke out, then 3450 EMA broke out, and we traded 252. 247.5 uh, 247 calls went 100%. So this was the highlight trade of the day. You learned something. What was the setup? Not an A plus setup. I will call it as an A setup and it finally turned into a you know plus A setup once it started to curl right so this was a clear defined risk if you add anywhere in this range you add your risk is here if you add 244 then your risk is one dollar you add it 246 your risk is two dollar to make three or four dollars one risk to two reward trade so understand that all right guys so now that you know how was the market what was our highlight play of the day now we can move to our trades of the day 
So as always, guys, um, we made our watch list for September 7. September 7, watch list was ready. We um, looked at the news, bunch of the news sources that I provide for free for everyone. And then we looked at more corporate news. Apple had a news out of China. That's why Apple was weak. And then we had uh, McDonald has news, Goldman Sachs. Two main news players for us today was AI and Gamey. That's why you see them top in the list, right? AI and Gamey was there. Then there was ChargePoint, you know, which reported earnings. So ChargePoint and a um, bunch of others. Bros was there, which was a loss on the short side today. Bros was a loss. So that was it. And then we had, um, then our watch list was ready. Then I, we reviewed some analyst comments in the morning as well. What are they saying about Apple? What are they saying about Netflix, McDonald, MU, Meta, Play, NVIDIA, and Dell? You know, reviewed some more news, you know, Gamey, CHPT, AI, McDonald, Crocs, and the watch list was ready. News plays, market plays, and then we had a few penny plays. Then the levels, as always, you can take a screenshot and see how the levels worked. Uh, usually on a choppy day, it's hard to trade with the levels. On a trend day, they worked really nicely. So um, AMD resistance was 108.30, 109. It never even pushed to that level, right? So, and the support was, it was choppy. You could see, right? Broke down, bounced back up, right? It, the support was um, 106.30. It broke that support for sure, pushed to one for five, but if you did not cover that morning push down, then you probably lost, right? But the level did give a big flush. So uh, that was that. Um, oh yeah, Boeing short was a big one today. I will talk about it later, how we shorted the Boeing short um, on the news. You know, we shorted here, held our short. I gave people stops over here, came back, $3 short. So, uh, okay, Meta was big today. I posted yesterday. What did I say yesterday? Let me show you. If I can show you that my key was on Meta to trade versus the 300, right? So yesterday we talked about this setup, right? Because this good consolidation, 300, will trade all about uh, neutral bias, will trade based upon that 300 level. And guess what? Apple pushed out of that 300. So as soon as you see that you long, you long a starter here or here, you have a clear defined risk on the lower of the candles or the EMA clouds. So you risk dollar, dollar and a half, and it gave, it went to 307, gave nice seven point trade. I did not take the short side, it was big, but I did, did make sure people don't lose money catching the falling nights. That's the thing about my community or my teachings. I make sure people don't build a bad habits, right? I know somebody was saying, oh, Meta fell down from 307, I missed a big short. That's not about it. It's about building a good habits. I don't care you lost this big fade or, or if you lost this big bounce, let it consolidate. If you were buying on right here, right here, right here, and you stopped out right here, trying to predict the bottom, you will lose. Let it consolidate, right? Although I did not take this trade, this trade, I was in the morning trade, but you can see the consolidation, right? This was a similar trade we did on Nvidia, I will show you, consolidation. And then you take, then you have a defined risk, then you have a defined risk here to long, right? So understand that. So the setups, buying falling knife is not a setup. You will win one or twice, but you will lose big, one time so all right so watch list was ready um ai was bearish gamey was bearish bias chpt was bearish bias all my guidance of what i'm thinking smci was with nvidia bros was bearish to neutral bias and um all you know um and our price alert start hitting when the stocks break key levels i was ga short gamey out of the gate i was short bros out of the gate and I was short AI out of the gate as per my pre-market prep. So let's see how everything worked. So AI short, bounced to the EMAs. I saw the rejection, 
hit the short hair, risk hair, risking 50, 60 cents, and we made almost $2 to the downside, right? So if you see on AI, I was, uh, you know, so AI was a good short, hold them shorts, want to see 26 break, AI more lows, cover some 25.50, and we were done with it. Try to bounce, I covered everything, more, everything I was out of it. And then I had a tiny left. I didn't realize it, I would have stopped out here, but then it came back, then I got out everything. But a profitable tear trade regardless. So CHPT was a bearish bias today. As you see, right out of the gate, short room to five, hit our five target. That was good morning trade for 40 cents or 10% on the stock and we were out, right? Another winning trade. So on the gamey, I was short, but it did not really, you know, pay us much. So I was a very small size short on gamey um, uh, when it opened up. You see it opened here from 19, it hit 17.60 and um, my target was 17.50 and 70 when it started to bounce, 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 bounce started to hold this level, I was out, you know, still green, but just a tiny green, but AI was much better short, CHPT was much better short. And then my idea on bros, I was short on bros, right, but it swiped right back up. Right? If I look at five minutes, it swiped right back up, squeezed me, and I took almost a dollar 30 cent loss and I was out of it. So those are fine. I didn't stick with my loss because if I stuck with my loss, I would have lost $3, right? I don't want to do that. Just take the loss, move on, some good trades going around, AI, GAMI, CHPT, and you just nail them, right? So anyways, so uh, so that was our Tesla trade, guys. Um, and here is the thing, guys. If um, you join our community, you don't have to spend anything else. Everything is included in our community. Momentum scanners, unusual flows, watch lists, news feeds, support resistance levels, swing charts, all that, you know. So yeah, come come trade with us. Don't look for alerts, come for education and trading with the good folks. Okay, let's see. Um, so yeah, Tesla was all day guidance. Um, you can see, um, you can go back and see my video, uh, the same video earlier in the morning what I talked about Tesla so you can see I even posted on Twitter like let me show you if I can find that what I posted on Twitter on Tesla was right before Tesla was going to break that level right here so you can see right here you know we you know we were trading in the community but I did share on Twitter that this is the level of Tesla that I'm trying to see um, you know, um, the basing consolidation and this resistance here into the gap. And guess what? After that, Tesla went all the way, boom, boom, break out over here. Even if you were watching my Twitter idea, it was still a nice four points from there, right? So I show you everything before and after guys. It's not, not like after the fact. So, um, so that was the Tesla. Now let's look at our midday trade on NVIDIA. So, So what did NVIDIA do? So let's see. So NVIDIA in the mid of the day was doing the same thing, consolidation right here. Uh, I think it might be better here. Uh, yeah. So it was doing this consolidation. Vinay, great trader, great trader, one of the senior traders in the room. He, show, he saw this move and he liked to add this on this curl and he took a position and he gave a stop of 4.57.50. And guys, we just share in the community what we are doing. We never ask anybody to buy or sell. It's about learning, education. And uh, if idea works, good. You know, people made money on Nvidia Tesla today. Everybody was green. But the point is, if you understand why the trade worked so what was the setup the setup was mid day curl right so mid day curl was the setup and look at the push right then i saw it curling over 3450 
then I was, um, uh, he, he, he posted it, then we had this price alerts go. So the price alert said, NVIDIA hit a big push and then um, reclaimed 34.50, nice push to 462.450 was my target. And you know, it was almost a $3 trade or if you are in options, easy 30% and people were good with that trade, right? So you see, what was the trade? Consolidation, reversal over downtrend line over EMA clouds. You have your clear support. Why did he give 457.50? Because these were the candle highs which would act as a support if it dips. So, so support or uh, resistance becomes support. Remember that. So that was uh, NVIDIA guys. Nice midday trade, um, you know, really was good. So yeah, these are our chit chat room. We talk about everything in our community. If anybody is losing, I want to talk to him and see what he did and how he did. Yeah, so people love my guidance in the morning. I'm on a voice to, for two hours helping out everybody. So it's good to see, you know, so people are doing much better since they joined the community. Love to see that. Yeah, and um, yeah. Anyways, I was just trying to find the, you know, how people traded these Nvidia and Tesla and um, was very successful. So anyways, guys, uh, a little exhausted today. I'm not going to go into much further. These were all the trades, loses. There's a bunch of the st stocks I'm looking at. Zoom as a swing. I was, Groupon was uh, pushing today. So watching that. I missed the China names short today because um, they were weak, you know, they all failed. Even though I did say, let's see, China, no, I think I said, talked about it in the morning, to keep a watch on these China names. We can't catch everything we did miss. We missed this Lily breakout, right? Yeah, crazy, crazy. I had swing in CALH, A plus swing setup. I already was out at 200, but went to 205. But we'll keep an eye on it, see how it does. So, all right, all right. So, yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, forgot about the Boeing trade. So Boeing was, there was a news that came out on Boeing and it was trying to fade and I said that Boeing, we should uh, watch the pops. Um, here, here you go. Bearish if pops, but market needs to fail as well. So it, it popped, took the shot, popped again. Our stops were right here. You don't see it, but I had a price alert of a stop that stop out if it breaks this candle, but it worked out. And then um, initially 213 was target, but it bounced from there. We had covered some and then it came back to 215 was target, cover some and we were out and then it reclaimed bullish and that was our Boeing trade guys. All right guys, uh, that's all for today, keeping it small. Um, so today the setup you learned was the gap down long, how to, how to long when the market is gapping down, all right? Wait for consolidation, wait for reversal, wait for other market signals, keep eye on the market, VIX, and hit them. Um, on the penny side, uh, AREB was on the watch list. I did not trade it, but was good guidance by William on AREB. It, you know, really pushed it from EMA clouds, pre-market high breakout, 217, was decent trade for 60, 70%, right? So this came down, so no setup there. No setup here. So, so that was it, guys. Uh, see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Um, uh, the link to my community, my educational website, my Twitter, everything is in description. Come trade with us. If you have any questions, send email to my admins or you can contact me as well. My emails are also below. And I'm always available on Twitter to help everyone. Alrighty. Take care. Bye-bye.